Are you feeling like a zombie lately? Tired of the same old energy drinks promising the world but delivering the jitters at a crash? Look no further than Sneak Energy, your secret weapon for all your energy needs. With all natural ingredients, Sneak will give you all the energy you need to boost through your day without feeling like a lab rat on caffeine. Don't believe us? Try it yourself and see what a difference it can make to your routine. So what are you waiting for? Hit the link in the description and pick up your Sneak Starter Pack today. Now enjoy the clip. Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to Premier League Saturday Football. It's back and uh, we're good and happy to have it back. And I hope you're very, very, very happy about it as well. We're all happy. Lots of verys and lots of happies. Come on, Goldbridge, you're better than that. Um, anyway, look, uh, very much looking forward to this game. I do think straight away, I'd be very interested to see what people are saying in the chat, Simon, because I do think that this is a game that uh, Manchester City would normally win quite comfortably. However, however, I do really hope that Newcastle get a result. Um, so I'm going to put a result prediction up for you. Um, obviously, Man City are the home side here. We'll go through the team news in a minute. Uh, big shout out. They still got it, De Bruyne. Here's Grealish, doing well at the moment, Grealish. And it should have been 1-0. What a chance. Right on the head of Gundogan, on the edge of the six-yard box, it should be 1-0. Agreed, but why aren't you clay clubs creating talents as Kill Robinson? Uh, it's a good result, 0-0. Any draw is a good result, um, or a Newcastle win after that. But, um, yeah, that's a nice ball in for Gordon. I'm laughing if he scores. Carl Walker's just... <laughs> See, that's the thing. He ain't got the pace. He's in there. Kyle Walker just catches him up. Easy work. Gordon's alive. That's an old. That's an old one. Saint Maximum is so good. Big again. And end of conversation. Good run by Foden. Very good run. And a goal. That's a fantastic goal by Foden. I mean, the Newcastle defence has got to do better. But what a goal by Foden that is. That's quality. You can't argue with it. He's picked it up. He's ran past about four or five Newcastle players who've absolutely shit themselves to not put a tack tackle in. But uh, it's a cracking goal. I think Pope's got to do better. Is that, he's an odd player, Foden. I think he's really talented, but he's not really had a talented season, has he? Lovely ball out by Rodri. Now look at his starting point here. Burn... You know what? It, it it's direct.com by Foden, but the, the ta look at look at fucking Gordon for you. Get rid of that prat. Peter Reed, nineteen eighty six vibes against Maradona. The only one who tries to put the tackle in is Botman, and I think it goes in off his foot anyway. That is shit from Gordon. Burn and Gordon there. That is shocking. Absolutely shocking. £45 million pounds for somebody to come and defend your left-hand side. Awful. Awful. Um, it's got to be a goal. Oh, what a tackle that is. Who's missed that? Longstaff. What a miss. How has he missed that? They've had two chances, Newcastle. Gordon and Longstaff. And they, they're, they're shooting like they're a corpse. Pineapple should not be on pizza, says Alan Smith. Well, I'll have it. Well, Newcastle have had chances already in the first 15 minutes, but they're so slow. Here we go, De Bruyne. Good cross. Haaland's going to win that. Oh, I tell you what. That would have been very good clip content. He's got above Botman. He's won the header. Lovely cross by De Bruyne. Trippier should close him down a lot quicker than that. And then, uh, oh, Haaland there. You'd, you'd have fancied him to score. When he's won that header, you'd fancy him to score. Heads it down just wide. Wonderful cross by De Bruyne. Well up by Haaland. Trippier's got to close that down a lot quicker. There's no urgency in this Newcastle side. If, I, if I'm a Newcastle fan, I'm saying, we've had a week off. We didn't play midweek. Where's the urgency from these lads? You know, yeah, we lost the final, but come on. We've still got top four to play for. I find them really boring to watch. 
There's a good roll here. Trippy has made it. Oh my Christ. That's three chances. Callum Wilson. Bloody hell. That should be 1-1. One, one. You're never going to win if you can't take chances like this. Longstaff, Gordon, Wilson. They've had the three best chances of the game. Absolute joke, man. Lasagna, shepherd's pie, Chinese, spank ball. Which one? I love lasagna, Andrew. They've defended better than they've attacked. Oh, I've just I've just missed the Joel Linton chance when I was having a piss. Bloody hell, that's four big chances they've missed today, Newcastle. You can't uh, you can't you can't say fairer than that. Oh, I see Trippier there. Fucking rubbish. If Man City score here, it's because of Trippier. There you go. Fucking Bernardo Silva with the goal. What did I say at half time? Oh, Trippier's world class. Does this cost you a fucking goal? Been shit. Absolute shit for you, Newcastle. Trippier today. Shit last week. Best right back in the league. Yeah, back in the autumn. I, I, it's just so frustrating because Newcastle have basically gifted Man City three points here. There ain't no way. They've been the better team. They've been the better team and they've lost 2 0. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Man City have been very lucky today and they and their fans will know it. They've been very lucky today. They've done what you do when you're trying to win a league. Win when you're playing badly. And you can tell by Pep's reaction and the players' reaction, they know how important that, that goal is. In 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 um terms of quality Man City have not played well 100% I think there are teams that would beat Man City I think United would have beat Man City today Arsenal would have beat Man City today maybe even Liverpool would have beat them today um, unfortunately Newcastle haven't I don't I, I think Man City remind me a bit today of how they played against Spurs just not really at the races but they've done enough and Spurs did beat them um, if Man City were playing like this away from home, I think they would have been beat. Yeah, Newcastle could have got a draw today, easily. I think it's a bit of a leap to say they could have won it because they're losing 2-0, but they could have got a draw. They've had big chances in this game. And I think that um, Newcastle's poor quality in the finishing is it's got to be really disappointing. And it's, it's coming at exactly the wrong time for them as well. You know, you need to be, um, you need to be taking those chances... Um, if Spurs win at Wolves today, that gap's going to be seven points and you've only got two games at hand. You can't catch them with the games at hand. So.